You know, I guess when we're trying to figure out how far the Fed is willing to go, you've got to also consider the health of the banks right now. There is certainly a lot for Wall Street to digest right now. What's your general take on the mood in the markets? A good question. I think that the, uh, the sentiment is so important, especially in the foreign exchange market. Uh, so uh, I think in the big picture, the market still is resisting the idea that the Fed gave us in June that they need to hike rates two more times. Uh, the market's got one hike priced in, is doubtful about the next, uh, the hike that theoretically would be in September. What strikes me is that when we saw uh, up through last Thursday, we had all that strong jobs data like the ADP and the service uh, ISM showing strong job market. We had a big spike higher in U.S. yields, but that did not translate into a stronger dollar. And so that tells me that it's like a yellow flag if we were playing uh, soccer. I think it's telling me that maybe we're at a turning point in the dollar where higher interest rates don't support it, but we see like on a day like today where softer interest rates are weighing on it. So I, in a big picture, I think the dollar peaked a uh, major uh, cyclical high last September and October, and we're just working our way lower gradually. So let's use this week's inflation print as an example. You know, based on what we see and what it tells us about where rates may go, what might be the currency reaction, the dollar reaction, in your opinion? Well, I, th I think the CPI is going to be the last that we get the really strong base effect that's driving our headline inflation from uh, the highs that we saw last year. Uh, maybe we get something in the low 3% handle, but the second half of the year is going to be much tougher comparison starting uh, next month or this month when we get that data in August. Uh, last July, uh, the CPI was flat. And so what, what it tells me is that we might be seeing a rising inflation, especially in Q3, just from the base effect. It's not really, it's not like rocket scientists here. We just look at what happened last year, take that off of the 12-month comparison. Uh, so I, I'm concerned that the dollar is going to be headed lower. And just at that moment in time, we get uh, the strong inflation numbers, but I think we also get a weaker economic numbers. You know, look at what the Fed said in June. Uh, despite the staff forecasting a recession still uh, later this year, the, the median dot was for a 1% growth in the economy. And it looks to me like we're going to achieve that here in the first half of the year. So the Fed is telling us stagnation coming in the second half. 